No, Mom. It's okay. I gotta go. Hi. I didn't see you there. Well, how are you today? You look very nice. Well, I'm afraid you kind of caught me in my nap time, but hey, okay, usually I just unwind with some tea and a good book. Would you like to help me read it? Well, all right, let's see what we have here. Harry Potter and the Half-Baked Potato? Ugh, no, no, no. Harry Potter is much too scary for me. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, if you really love me, you drive a stake through my heart? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. I cannot do vampire stories. Whew, too scary. Well, let's see what we have here. Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, might be a little scary, but probably be okay. Can I read this one to you? All right, good. We'll get comfortable. There we go. All set. This is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. There once was a young boy named Jack. He lived in a tiny village. He was poor and lived in a small house with his mother. His mom was wonderful and would do anything for Jack. But she had no money, no job. And they were running out of food. So she called Jack into the house to talk about their troubles. Jack! Jack, I need you to come inside. We need to talk. Coming, Mom. Wipe your feet good outside. You know we can't afford garbage bags or even paper towels. We're just really poor. I'm sorry, Mom. I forgot. I wish I was old enough to get a job and help us out, but I'm just a kid. You know, I can do all the chores around here, though. I can do the dishes, clean my room, go to the store for you. That would be nice, Jack, but... You know, we don't have any dishes, and we don't have any money to go to the store, and you can't clean your room because we only live in this one-room house, so you don't have a room. Sorry, Mom. I forgot. That's okay, Jack. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Now, we need to have a serious talk about Jersey. We're moving to New Jersey? That's great. That would be such a cool adventure for us. No, Jack. Not New Jersey. Jersey, your cow. Oh, Jersey, my cow. Sure. What about Jersey? Well, Jack... I think it's time we say goodbye to Jersey. Is Jersey moving? Is Jersey going to New Jersey? No, is Jack. No, 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 no. Focus. Forget about New Jersey. Jersey, your cow. We have to sell it. So, Jersey? My cow? My best friend? You need to make some people friends, Jack. It has always bothered me that your best friend was a cow. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Do I really have to sell Jersey? We have to eat, Jack. We have to pay rent. We have to pay Dr. Brightman, your tutor. We have no money, no income, no prospects. We have to sell Jersey. I love you, Mom, but I love Jersey too. I don't know if I can handle watching you sell him. You don't have to watch me sell Jersey, Jack. Good, thank you. You have to sell Jersey. I have my audition for The Voice today. This could be our big break. Mama's gotta sing, cause that's the only way I could ever make money. Do I have to sell Jersey? If there were any other way, Jack, but there's not. Now, be off with you. Mama's got to rest her voice. Now remember, not less than $100. Okay, less than $100. No! Got it. Not less than $100. Okay. How much again? Oh, never mind. Let me call Dr. Brightman, your tutor, and have him meet you in the town square. But Mom, we're poor. We don't have a phone. How can you call him? Dr. Brightman! Dr. Brightman! Jack? What? No, Dr. Brightman, Jack's mom! I'm fine, thank you! Jack? He's fine as well. The thing is. Will you forget about the weather and listen? Will you meet Jack in the town square today? He needs to sell Jersey! That's what I thought too, Dr. Brightman. Jack, please! No! Not New Jersey! Jersey, our cow! I need him to speak with the peddler and I don't want him to take advantage of Jack! Will you help him get a good deal for the cow? Ah, dealing with the peddler can be tricky. I'll make sure he's got a good contract and good for the dog. Okay, thank you! Jack will be along shortly. You're welcome. See you, Dr. Brightman. All right, now I must really rest my voice. Be off with you and meet with Dr. Brightman in the town square, okay? Okay, Mom, I'm going. Love you. Love you. And so Jack was off to get Jersey and to head into town. 
Jonas and Jack's mom nice. I like her. I just wonder if Jack will get a good deal for the cow. Probably a good thing that his tutor's going along with him. Always a good idea to listen to your teachers. Hey, I'm serious. They're there to help you. I'm sure Jack will listen to the uh, teacher in his story. Just imagine what kind of trouble he could get himself into if he didn't listen. Well, anyway, on with our story. Jack now found Jersey. Now, Jersey was a special cow. Jersey could talk, but only to Jack. To everyone else in our story, Jersey just mooed. To Jack, Jersey was almost human. Hey, Jersey. Hey, Jack. What's up, dude? The sky. Good one, Jack. You're a funny guy. Remember the time you went up the hill with Jill who fell down and- Okay, Jersey. I remember. You don't have to rub it in. Sorry, but that's the fact, Jack. Okay. We gotta be serious for a minute. Mom gave me some bad news. She didn't make it past round one of the voice, did she? See, I hear her singing, and I think she's torturing the cat. And then I remember, you don't have a cat. And I think, dang. Woman can't sing. It's awful. Just god awful. You done? Okay, I'm done. Her audition is today. My bad news has nothing to do with that. Oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead. W what's the bad news? I have to take you to the town square today to see the peddler and, um... And? And sell you. Wow! That's cold, Jack. I thought we were friends. We are, but Mom has no money and no job, so unless she wins the voice... Not happening. Then we have to sell you for money. Well, that is bad news. I like hang you with you, Jack. You're okay. But hey, the... Pedro has a nice home with food and stuff. It would be nice to have a decent meal. So if you need to sell me, then I'll find a way to survive. Don't want to get you down, Jack. If I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. Thanks for being a good sport about this, Jersey. Not the problem, Jack. Well, let's go. I gotta meet Dr. Brightman in town. Okay, I'm ready. Don't have a cow, get it? <laughs> Don't have a cow. Good one, Jersey. Got a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> don't have a cow. Oh, that jersey cracks me up. Pretty funny for a cow, don't you think? And he was reading the paper. <laughs> don't meet many cows that can do that. <laughs> anyway. Jack and Jersey were now heading into town, and the first person they ran into was Dr. Brightman, the tutor. He had been Jack's teacher for some time now. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jersey. Hi, Dr. Brightman. Moo! Moo? What? I thought Jersey could... Oh, that's right, I forgot. Do you mind? No, 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 sorry, go on. Thank you. So, Jack, your mother tells me that we need to sell Jersey, and I don't mind telling you that the peddler, he can be very crafty, so we have to make sure you sign a contract that's good for the both of you. Got it? Got it. What did you say? Never mind. I'll do the talking. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Brightman. Oh, look, look. Here comes the peddler now. Hello. Hello. I'm here to sell my cow, and I need much less than $100. Jack, <laughs> please, I, I'll handle this. Okay. Sorry, Dr. Brightman. Uh, it's okay, Jack. <laughs> Mr. Peddler, uh, you see before you here a magnificent cow, and I'd say this cow should go for, say, hundreds. <laughs> Did I say hundreds? I meant thousands of dollars, but today, and only today, can we let this cow go for, say, $500? Uh, we prefer cash and will not accept an out-of-state check. $500, but look at this cow. It doesn't even look healthy. Let me in, I'm out. Oh. Remember, you're a cow. Right, sorry. Moo! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Fedler. This cow is healthy as a mule. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What was that? That was my mule. He wasn't well. Mr. Pedler, please! I'm trying to be fair to everybody. And you do seem like an intelligent man, so I'll knock the price down to, say, $400? Well, instead of money, how about a wonderful mask? Wow, a mask! Cool. And we're going to throw in a second one for free. This is great. Fantastic. I'm going to start the paperwork right now, and you can be on your way. Mr. Peddler, do you think I was born yesterday? Don't be silly. You'd still be a baby. 
my final offer is $300, or we will take our business elsewhere. Oh, this is so exciting. I wonder if they'll take the offer. $300 is a lot of money, and it would certainly help out Jack and his mom, especially if Jersey's right about her lack of singing skills. Wait, here comes the answer. Instead of money, how about beans? Beans? Beans. Beans? Beans! Moo? That's what he said, Jersey. Mr. Pedler, I have never been so insulted in all of my life. Beans, surely you must be joking. I am not joking, and never call me Shirley. <laughs> Good one. Not just any beans. String beans? No, magic beans. Oh, oh magic beans. Uh, why didn't you say so? Here, bring up that contract now, sign it now. Fantastic. We'll get right on that. Just a minute, I'm kidding. There's no way in the world I'll let my student Jack be a part of this nonsense. Jack, go get Jersey and go home and tell your mother that I'll take you out of town and try to sell your pal to someone who won't try to swindle us. Swindle? I'm insulted. I will see you later. And Jack, I'll see you and your cow tomorrow. Good day to you all. Well, thanks anyway. Come on, Jersey. Let's get home. Wait, wait, stay. What's your rush? No. Dr. Brightman told me to take Jersey home now. Well, Jack, Mr. Brightman isn't a very bright man. What are you saying? Magic beans, Jack. Do you know what magic is, Jack? What does it mean? These beans are much more valuable than money. With these beans, you'll be able to discover fortunes beyond your wildest expectations. And your mother will be so proud of you for making this deal. I don't know. And you did it all by yourself. You didn't need anyone's help. Are you sure my mom won't be mad? Moo! Moo! See? Even your cow agrees with us. Well, Jack, deal. Well, I'm gonna say... Oh my gosh, I can't take the suspense. What's he going to do? His teacher is gone, but his teacher told him exactly what to do. Jack, seems like a bright kid. I'm sure he'll listen to the advice of his teacher. Okay, I'll make the trade. <laughs> Way to go, Jack. You won't regret it. No. Here are the magic beans. Be very careful with those. Can I have a moment alone with Jersey to say goodbye? Of course. Well, this is goodbye, old friend. It's been fun, Jack, but just so you know, your mom is gonna kill you. I don't think so, Jersey. These aren't just beans. They're magic beans. You are right. I did forget. Magic beans. Well, then you're set for life. Well... Take care, Jersey. Hope to see you one of these days. Hang in there, kid. Take good care of Jersey. He's the best friend ever. Of course. Thank you for your business. Goodbye. Bye. Well, I didn't see that coming. And I had that story in front of me the whole time. I guess I should have read ahead or something. Oh well. Guess Jack will be in big trouble when he gets home. It's such a shame. He seems like a normal boy. But what normal person would trade a cow for magic beans? I mean, cookies I see because they're sweet and tasty. But beans? Well, the curtain's opening again. Maybe Jack's back at his house. Wait, that's not Jack's house. He seems to have wandered in the middle of the forest. And, and who's that girl sleeping there? Could it be? Nah. What could it? Ah, right, here comes Jack. Let's see what happens. Where am I? I should have asked Jersey for directions back home. He can always find his way back and I always get lost. This looks like a forest of some sort. That's what I said. And who is this sleeping girl? She looks like, um, like- Like a princess. Like a princess. Wait a minute, are you trying to steal my thunder? Me? No, no, sorry, just trying to move the story along. Yeah, buzz off. This is my story now. Uh, again, sorry. Go ahead, as you were saying, she looks like a princess. I know what I said. Again, very sorry. Continue, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, what did I just say? She looks like a princess. Right, thanks. No problem. That's why I'm here. I'm the narrator, the storyteller, if you will. I actually come from a long line of storytellers. My father's father was. I wonder if I should wake her. She is very beautiful, but I do need to get these magic beans home. Hello, I'm S.H. Prince. S.H. Prince? What does S.H. stand for? So handsome. Should've seen it coming. I saw it coming. I read ahead a little. Hey, Gabby, I'm working here. 
Well, go on. Do you know this young lady? She is a sleeping beauty, and that is all I need to know. I'll wake her now with a kiss. With a kiss? You sure that'll work? Don't know, really. But sounds like fun, doesn't it? You got a point. Okay, give me some room, sir. Watch me work my magic. Oh, speaking of magic, <laughs> I got magic beans. Next you'll be telling me you have a talking cow. How do you know? Actually, come to think of it, I don't really have Jersey anymore. I traded him for these beans. If you're done with this old bean debate, I see a princess that needs kissing. Did it work? Am I handsome? Well, good morning. Who are you two? Allow me to introduce myself. I am SH Prince. The SH is for so handsome. I'm Jack. I traded my best friend for these magic beans. Oh, how nice. And tell me you're not the one that woke me with the kiss. No, not me. It was I. I woke you with the perfect kiss. <laughs> well, perfect. Not sure I'd go there, sweetheart. But it wasn't bad, aside from almost giving me a concussion. But hey, I'm awake. So, anything fun coming up? A dance? A parade? Talk to me. I'm hosting a ballroom dance tonight at my father's castle. There will be a king's feast and beautiful flowers everywhere. I'm going home to surprise my mom with these beans. A dance, you say? What time should I be there? I'll pick you up at seven. Till then, I'm S.H. Prince. Goodbye. Goodbye. See us. Goodbye. So, you seem to have some time to kill. Want to go back to my mom's? It's only one room, but it's home. Tempting, but no. Okay. Well, I gotta run. See you, princess. Goodbye, strange boy. That was kind of weird. Sort of a sleeping beauty in the middle of this story of Jack and his magic beads. And look, this character doesn't belong here either. What's going on? Hello there, boy. What's your name? My name's Jack. What's yours? They call me Little Red Riding Hood. I think I know you. Didn't you battle a wolf that was dressed like your grandma? I haven't eaten some strange mushrooms in the woods or what? No. I hate mushrooms. I'm hating my grandma's right now. She lives deep in the woods. I'm gonna bring her some cookies. Cookies? Cookies? Oh, are you just gonna have a cookie? Didn't we have a talk? And didn't we agree you'd stay out of this story? Yes, and I won't bother you again, but these cookies? Just one. There are probably plenty for your grandmother. What do you think? Can you spare one? I can spare it, but who is he? And why is he sitting in a chair with a book while we're out near the woods? Well, you see, young lady, I come from a long line of storytellers. No. Don't let him get started. Just give him a cookie so we can get on with this thing. Here you go, comfy chairman. Have a cookie. Thank you, young lady. You're very kind. Hmm. These cookies are delicious. How many more you got in that basket? Don't push it, buddy. Mm, sorry? Go on. Thanks. Takes all kinds, weirdo. He means well, but it's a talkative thing, that's for sure. So where are you heading? I'm going home to surprise my mom with these magic beans. Oh, well, now I feel bad. All I have are these cookies to take to my grandmother. Well, we can't all have magic beans now, can we? Oh, in a perfect world, Jack, maybe in a perfect world. Well, I gotta run. Maybe I'll see you later. That would be nice, Jack. You're good in my book, besides this obsession with magic beans. But hey, takes all kinds. Well, see you later, Jack. See ya, Red. Watch out for the wolf. Can you watch out to your, your mother's reaction to those magic beans? And so the curtain closes once again as we prepare to see Jack arrive at home with news of the magic beans. What will his mom's reaction be? What would your parents' reaction be? Would they think it was a good trade, a cow for magic beans? I think Jack should have listened to Dr. Brightman. Well, let's find out, shall we? Mom, Mom I'm home. There you are. Well, Jack, it's over. Oh, what's over, Mom? My dream. My shot of becoming the winner of the voice. Oh, what happened, Mom? They didn't even let me finish my song. They're so mean. Yeah. I mean, at least I have good news. That's great, Jack. I could use some good news. So, I went to the town square today to meet with the peddler. Oh, I know, Jack. Dr. Brightman told me all about it, how the peddler tried to trade the cow for some magic beans. But luckily, your tutor was there to turn you away before you could do anything wrong. Define wrong, Mom. What do you mean, Jack? Well, I just think Dr. Brightman underestimated the power of magic beans. Oh, um, Jack, tell me you didn't do this. Uh, where's Jersey? Jersey? No, Mom, Mom, look, magic beans. I mean, much better than $300.
How many people do you know that have magic beans? None, to be exact, Jack. See? Look how special we are. Jack. Mom? Jack. What should I do with the beans, Mom? What should you do with the beans? Well, I will show you what you should do with the beans. You see that field over there? Yeah. Well, watch! Ah! Wow. You think they work better outside? Yes, Jack. I think their magic works best outside. Can I go outside a while and watch my magic beans, Mom? They might do something magical, and I don't want to miss that. Oh, we wouldn't want to miss the magic now, would we? So I can go outside for a while? Yes, Jack, you can go outside. You need some fresh air, and I need a little space. Oh, don't cry, Mom. You can audition again next year. Maybe the mean judges will quit the show. We can dream, Jack. We can dream. Good night, Mom. I love you. Good night, Jack. I love you, too. Guess I'll sit out here and see what happens. I hope it's exciting. I've never seen magic before. <laughs>